Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back. I'm sending you so much love and light. Let's begin this reading for you. Someone rising in Venus. What does Cancer need to know? We have new beginnings. Letting go. Change. Time to move forward. Risks and opportunities. This feels like the full energy. Oh, this is for a divine feminine. If you're a divine feminine, that, that's a message. Strong message for you. We all have feminine and masculine. So not gender specific. Fragile heart, you can be vulnerable. Spirit is saying for you to let go. Uh, there's a ton, there's a change here. Moving forward, time to move forward. Wow. Twin flames, give me one second, Cancer. That was unexpected. Unexpected. People, events, messages, travel, or situations. Twin flames, and we have forgive. This has been showing in the readings. Um, you may have to, you may, there may, may be a need for forgiveness uh, of yourself or someone else. Forgiveness is a lib liberating choice and uh, time to let go. Something about a rejection or you might be rejecting something at this time because you've decided to move in a new direction. That is what I'm getting, Cancer. Let's continue with this reading. What am I using here? Let's see. Nine of Wands, Fear. Four of Wands, Celebration. And we have Speed. This is all fire energy. Something that you have manifested with a twin flame, it's coming in. And you're fearful. <laughs> you're going to be fearful of this. I, this is this is the message, okay? Something to do with your insecurities or someone's insecurities. Eight of Wands is fast. Incoming news, it could be messages. I see this as a manifestation of some kind, um, speed, rapid, rapid, coming in very quickly, something you've manifested. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, something unexpected, people, events, page of swords. This is about learning something or curiosity about, there's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You may know this energy. It may be a feminine energy. We have the Queen of Swords and the Devil who has some sort of obsession here and they, they could be spying because we have the Page of Swords, Devil energy, obsessions. The Page of Swords could talk about um, research, <laughs> online research, looking at something with this Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Devil Energy. This could be a karmic or a karmic ex that is um, keeping an eye on a connection. Four of Wands could talk about a union, two people coming into union, celebration. These cards too, are they showing? I don't know. Eight of Wands, Four of Wands. We have Twin Flames and that is what the Four of Wands is. Okay, Twin Flame Energy. We have Capricorn Energy with this Devil. Give me one more energy. Page of Swords is, it could be about some sort of truth here someone seeing the truth or viewing something we have the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn i feel like this is who's communicating with you this per this energy could be it could be a soulmate they could be connected to you energetically unexpected people and events uh or situations that may may arise and we have an offer on the table with this ace of pentacles don't tell me no we have messages. This is Mercury energy, um, which which talks about communication. Four of Wands does say celebration, but you you're going to be anticipating this. You you will be anticipating this offer from the center from this person. We have Knight of Pentacles. Trust. Spirit is saying for you to trust in this. This is going to open up a new door for you. Two of Wands. This could be a person here planning. Um, could be at a distance planning planning. Planning on making an offer to you. They want to make an offer to you. We have King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy. Um, something new that this person has discovered. They could be watching you as well. Ten of Pentacles, Wealth and the Lovers, Somme energy, Gemini. Nine of Cups is fulfillment. And the Six of Wands, it's, it's, an, it's a victory. It's a victory. You're going to be able to achieve something you've wanted. Sagittarius energy, temperance. It does say resilience. <laughs> Communication. I'm seeing the devil again. There's somebody here with obsessions about 
about an ending there could have been an ending with with a third party as well judgment and somebody's being judged okay let's clarify cancer i'm gonna use the tarot to clarify what is this ace of cups and the seven of cups choose wisely choose wisely because there's a proposal here an offer being presented to you this is the decisions this lover's card says decisions. I just finished saying choose wisely. Choose wisely. Two, two, two energies here in this lover's um, wealth. The Ten of Pentacles could be a long-term scenario. It's a lot of Pentacles here. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wanting to heal a connection with you. Obsessively holding on to this connection. This person could be holding on to this connection in, in, in some, in, with obsession. Look, this connection, Four of Wands. They could have rejected in the past or abandoned in the past. They could have rejected you or the two of you may not be speaking. Ace of Swords, communication. Ace of Swords is truthful communication. This devil literally says obsession. Obsessed with wanting to communicate or tell, say something to you, tell the truth about something in the past, about something that happened in the past. What is this Ace of Swords? Mental Clarity, Three of Cups. It could be about a third party situation, Cancer. You know, but it could also be a celebration. Divine timing is at play here with this Wheel of Fortune. We have Leo Energy and Virgo. And the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're going to have a conversation here with this energy. The two of you are going to be speaking. Um... This is going to be a struggle, I feel. Uh, power power struggle, okay? Not a struggle to communicate, but a power struggle. Um, you may feel like this is burdensome to, even, to, to, to speak with this energy, Aquarius. Uh, but this person wants to heal. They want to heal. They want to heal a situation with you. Something about the truth being spoken. That there's truth being spoken with this Ace of Swords. This person has gained a lot of mental clarity. An emotional, emotional confession coming to, towards you um, with this Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to invest in a connection with you. They do. They, they're, they're being guided to do so. They may be listening right now to their intuition. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is a lesson they've learned, a proposal that they want to make to you. I see this as somebody wanting to invest in a connection unexpected people events and messages travels the eight of wands could be travels so is the wheel of fortune divine connection divine detours with this wheel of fortune for you this is somebody who i feel has had time here to shine a light on something okay because the ace of swords is about um mental clarity we have virgo energy with this hermit what is this person here communicating to cancer that is what i would like to know give me one second cancer what am i i'm looking around for things what is this energy would like to communicate to cancer with this ace of swords i want to heal i want to heal they may be holding back or overcoming or overcoming um something tragic with the strength card so look i want to heal it says here, I want to fix our connection. I want to mend this connection. That is what this temperance is. Could be a Sagittarius. Um, someone feels that they damaged their connection with you. Okay. Or that they're both hurting or you two are hurting from not speaking to one another. I feel a part. I feel a part of me is missing without you. This energy did not express. I should have expressed better. They did not communicate when they had the chance to. I always feel connected to you. So we have the lover's energy and we have twin flames. This is clearly a twin flame reading, uh, King of Pentacles, twice in the reading. Wanting to mend the connection with you. This person wants to mend the connection. I always feel connected to you. They did not disclose a truth when they had the chance to. Particularly to a divine feminine. I, I feel like there's a masculine here in reflection um, about something they did not say. A truth they did not express to you. Well, they're coming forward with expressing... Knight of Cups is expressing emotions to a high priestess. This person here is saying something. Give me one more energy for this reading. We have Pisces with this hangman at the bottom of the deck, Cancer and the Four of Wands, thinking about a conne this connection with you. Thinking about thinking about this connection with you. We have the Four of Wands, very strong twin flame energy in the reading, holding but they, I did did not express what they needed to express. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. 
Give me one more energy for this reading. Wanting to mend the situation here. Wanting to fix this connection with you. Fulfillment of wishes. Nine of cups. There's obsessions here. Leo energy. The strength card. We're still in this full moon in Leo energy. So something about this full moon in Leo. You may be dealing with a Leo. You may have Leo in your chart. Do we have the judgment? Awakening. Receiving a calling. Knight of Wands. This is somebody that... It could have been inconsistent in the past. Three of Pentacles now wanting to build. Four of Swords. Seven of Wands. You're you're standing your ground here with, with this energy. Because you know your worth now. Seven of Wands is I, I know my worth. But it's also a need here to defend. And there's an apology. Don't tell me. There's an apology here coming in from this person. Because we had this forgive. Forgive and stalemate situation with this energy forgiveness is a liberating choice um there's still may between the two of you give me one more energy you may be on different pages here with a person this energy is receiving karma now uh or something that they, they feel the need to overcome with a strength card someone feels the need to be strong and overcome a situation because you are see obsession again you are standing firm on a decision you've made, potentially you might have taken some time here to recover or heal. Um, someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Okay, we have the devil there saying obsession. Give me one more energy obsessing over you. That, that's, that, that's what I'm going to say. Give me one more energy for cancer. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Where did I see patience? It's like a different energy that's talked about patient. I don't know what I'm I'm channeling now. Here and now, a true love is already part of your life. You are protected. Look, we have true love again. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. And this Wheel of Fortune talks about divine timing at play. Also destiny. You may need to um, take some time right now to focus on your self-care cancer this may be you or, or this person, twin flame, working less. So someone feels overworked. Something about trusting. This is a true love connection. Give me one more energy. You are safe and divinely guided. Your true love is already part of your life. Um, have patience here. Spirit is saying for you to wait. I didn't realize that I had this card, this card, this energy here. Chemistry and go slow. Take time. Intuition. The attraction you feel is mutual. Longing for you. Someone is secretly longing for you. And I feel like it's this person. Time apart and passion. Somebody here is obsessed with you. It's, it's, it's this twin flame that you're connected to. Mastering a lesson about addictions. Second chance. And there's the apology. There's the apology. Twin flame. This is a divine connection. Divine counterpart. Somebody here is mastering a very valuable lesson. I think I channeled that, that message earlier in the reading. Addictions, about addictions could be or an attachment, obsessions. Listening to their intuition. Everything is going to unfold here with this person in divine timing, Cancer. That is what I see. I'm going to get some of these to end the reading for you. What else does Cancer need to know for this reading? Very strong earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. New beginnings, new beginnings here. With this twin flame, and we have, you'll be receiving a pre precious, precious gift. My gosh, why did I say that the way that I did? I don't know. Probably like that guy in the movie, uh, The Rings. Um, diamond. This could be an engagement ring. What? I just channeled the guy in the ring movie. This could be an engagement ring. You'll be receiving a precious gift. Let's look at these energies. Romance is in the air. So successful outcome to your problems, I'm going to say you will be taken care of in difficult times. Let's look at these energies, Cancer. Vacation, we have good luck, good fortune, I should say, with this beetle. Honor and respect will come to you. Psychic abilities, trust your intuition at this time or someone is def definitely watching you. Okay, dig deep, deep personal strength, that is a strength card. And peace that assures success, success assured with good planning and hard work. A wish is granted. Did I not channel that this person was disappointed um, by deception? Some deception of some kind. We have scissors, disappointment in some affair and someone leaving 
someone's life, empty chair. Something has come to the light here with the sun. Happiness and well-being, affairs with your family in an exciting event. I feel like somebody somebody's definitely uh, been disappointed in some way. Uh, this could could have been with someone in, in their family. Uh, disappointment with someone in your family affairs. You're in this happiness, well-being, energy, cancer. I see a wish being granted with good fortune. This could be also a person leaving this person's life. I feel like you are being watched. We saw the Page of Swords. You are being watched. There's an announcement here with this. It's something about an exciting event. Something about an announcement here. Happiness and well-being. This energy is giving you honor and respect. Um, there's a precious gift here that they probably they want to present. And, you know, that has been the message, this pinnacle. And I said, this is a solid offer. We have diamond here. So you'll be receiving a precious gift. I channel that movie, The Ring. So it may be in the form of an engagement ring. Let me know in the comment section if this resonated. I love you all so much. I'm sending you so much love and light. I'll be back soon with another reading. Until then, namaste.